The first myth that we come across is that good, good quality bed, good quality percale bedding is expensive and does not last any longer than cheaper bed linen, especially when you all will be working with budgets. Bedding is an area that a lot of people will not spend a lot of money on. And people have this impression that a sheet is a sheet. That it doesn't matter where you buy the sheet from and what the quality of the sheet is, it's still going to last the same amount of time. That is not actually true. Percale, and I will explain the term percale to you just now, can last three times longer than let's call it lower thread count or, 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 or lower end bedding. And that's an important <coughs> factor to understand. When you buy bedding for your establishments and for your own homes, something that is going to last three times longer but may cost one and a half times more makes economic sense, makes sense in terms of, in terms of, in terms of your purchasing decisions. What is a percale? Does anybody know what percale means? without reading that. <laughs> Have you come across the word percale? Okay. Um, I'm going to pass two samples around, if you can just pass them to both sides of the room. The two things that I want you to have a look at with the samples that are coming through to you. Um, the first one is feel the handle of the fabric. In other words, what does the product, what do the three products on that hanger feel like? And secondly, what do they look like? How do they compare? <coughs> the first sample that is on there is a 144 thread count product. You'll feel it is quite rough when, when you compare with the other two samples. And the 144 thread count product, if you actually hold it up with a light behind, you'll see that, the, that it's a very open construction. Um, let me just show you how to do that quickly. If you hold it up like that with the light behind it, you'll be able to see the construction of the fabric. And you'll see how open the construction actually is. Um, the tighter, the 200 thread count and the 600 thread count samples that are on there are percales or high thread count fabrics. <coughs> what does thread count actually mean? Thread count is the number of threads in one square inch of that fabric. When a fabric is, wo is woven, you have warp threads running down the fabric and weft threads running, running across the fabric. If you add up the number of warp threads in one inch and the number of weft threads in one inch, add the two together, that will give you a thread count. And anything above 180 threads is considered a percale. So the second sample on that hanger that I passed around is what we would consider an entry level percale. Um, in, in South Africa. It is a 200 thread count product. It has a much tighter weave and a much tighter construction than the first sample that you felt, which is a 144 thread count product, making it obviously far more luxurious and also, I'll explain now why, also makes, makes it a far more durable product. Um, so a percale is a high thread count fabric above 180 threads. Thread counts go up to 1,200. I've come across thread counts of 1,200 in the industry. Um, uh, not really suitable in South African conditions. It's a very heavy fabric. Um, uh, generally speaking, we find in South Africa people will go up to about a 600 thread count. Above that, the fabric is so heavy, it is not really suitable for our climate in South Africa, used possibly in Europe under very, in a very cold conditions, but in South Africa, generally at the highest, well, the highest thread count that I've come across in South Africa is a, is a 600 thread count. Um, the term percale comes from a Persian word called pargala, or pargala, which actually means rag. The French used the term uh, to describe a cotton woven fabric. <coughs> what it currently means is a high thread count fabric above 180 thread count which is used for bedding, used for bed linen. Um, in the fashion industry they use the term, per, uh, they use the term poplin um, and poplin is typically a percale fabric or a high thread count fabric that is used for clothing. <coughs> the 
first two fabrics that you felt on that feeler have a, um, uh, are, are what we call square or plain weave fabrics. The plain weave is similar to the sketch at the top here, where one will have <coughs> the warp threads running, and a weft thread will go over one warp and under one warp consecutively. A satin fabric or a sateen fabric, which is similar to the 600 thread count sample, which is the third sample that I passed around to you, has a different construction. And it is similar to the, to the bottom drawing where you will have um, the warp threads and you'll have the weft threads going over five, four or five warp or weft threads. That gives you a different sateen <coughs> or a satiny or a silky type handle on the face of the fabric, which typically you would experience on 400 thread count fabrics and above. It's important to understand the difference because a percale fabric has a crisp handle and we all relate that crisp handle to bed linen. The sateen fabric has a much, more, has a much softer handle, it drapes better um, and a lot of people relate that to high quality bedding as well. So it's an important factor to understand that there are two types of fabrics. The main idea of a percale fabric versus the lower thread count fabric is that it is luxurious. It feels smoother and is therefore much more luxurious when sleeping on it. Um, and it, will, it is also more durable, meaning that the bed linen will last up to three times longer than bedding that is not made from a percale fabric.